What is your job today here in uh, Rolex Paris Master? It's a new job. I was on the court for a long time and then I stopped my career. It's going to be almost 13 years uh, soon. Uh, and I'm yeah, very involved in tennis as I have my academy. But here this week, uh, I'm in, a, in another position. I'm here to commentate the, the tournament uh, for your sport. And um, that's another challenge for me. Uh, it's something I really appreciate to, um, to discover with this, in this new position when I was on the court. Of course, the pressure was different. There's still a lot of pressure because we have to try to, to um, share the experience with all the people, with all the fans of tennis and that want to, uh, yeah, to, uh, to see the match and to leave the match uh, if they're not in the stadium. And uh, we try to, I try to bring my experience, of course. I try to bring um, my understanding of what the, the player lives on the court, uh, but also trying to keep some distance because what I live on the court as a player is different from what the players live. Everyone is unique. Everyone has, the, the, they have their own personality. So it's good to be into it. But I think we all also have to take some distance from that to make sure that we keep neutral and not judging uh, anything. So, but I love tennis. And this is the main reason why I'm here. It's because I love tennis and I love people and I want to, to share tennis, my passion with, uh, with people. Uh, what does tennis mean to you now? And how do you view or define your past achievements? Well, tennis will always uh, mean something very special. Tennis has been my whole life for a big part of my life. It's not the case anymore. Uh, today I have a family, I have uh, um, yeah, a, a life away from, from tennis, but tennis is always um, somewhere in my life. But since I was five years old, it was my whole life uh, when I uh, saw uh, uh, Steffi Graf on, on TV. It was a long time ago now, um, yeah, more than 35 years ago. Um, it's like it became a mission for me, actually. I, I really felt I want to do uh, what she's doing. And I think that we all uh, look after our way in, in life. And for me, it became very clear, very early. I want to become a champion in tennis. I don't really don't know really why it has been tennis because yeah, my my brothers and my father were playing tennis and uh, and I wanted to do like them and I wanted to do like Steffi Graf and I started to hit the ball and I had some talent at the beginning and then the the passion and the dream uh, came soon so um, I didn't ask too many questions to myself I was into it until um, until it never ends actually but in a different way. So tennis is, is, we can see tennis as, yeah, I hit, it's a small ball, yellow ball, we hit into the ball, but I see it in a very different way. It has been an opportunity for me also to, uh, I was very anxious as a, as a kid, gave me the opportunity also to, um, yeah, to, to, to be able to deal with my emotions, to find a place into my family, to find a, a place in, in my life. And uh, I think it's a huge opportunity in sport to uh, to grow up, to understand a lot of things, to to know uh, ourselves better, also to accept that uh, frustrations uh, it's part of the way uh, because we lose also a lot of matches. So I see tennis as really a tool to uh, to grow up uh, personally. I always took it uh, that way. So now I'm not a tennis player anymore, but still tennis helps me to uh, to grow up. But I also like to discover a lot of other things. Of course, tennis is a sport, but for me, it's much more than that in, the, in my life. You have also paid attention to insisting on your youth uh, tennis education. Uh, what do you think is the most uh, significant change in tennis development uh, for the younger generation compared with the past? Uh, what message do you have for the younger generation Uh, of tennis players? There are so many uh, challenges in education. Sport is an opportunity, of course, in, in education. And uh, we pay a lot of attention to, to this because the result uh, at the end uh, it's okay, of a tennis player, it's, it's going to win, it's going to lose, but hopes to win. But how he wins and how he built also his yeah. personality and, and his values uh, through the sport. So. Challenges, are, I think, are huge for for young generation. And I think globally, uh, and the world is changing a lot, and we need to adapt to a lot of uh, a lot of things also these days. But if I have to send uh, one message, only one, is that um, we cannot go fast all the time. We need time 
I think the yeah. the kids to grow up and to uh, to grow up uh, through the sport and uh, to 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 get results. And results is not only if I win or, or if I lose, but uh, um, this takes time and needs uh, experience and needs time to to fail and then to get up and then to uh, we we have ups and downs in in life and. Uh, I think today to reach the the goals, um, it's important to um, to uh, to write the way to write the vision. I think yeah. something really important. So this is the message we try to send uh, at, the, at the academy because my academy for us it's our opportunity to mm. to with a lot of humility because we cannot uh, we are not the parents. Uh, we are a certain kind of family at the end, so we take care of the the kids that we have. But uh, this is. It's good also that energy that we can feel there's an emergency for them, but it's also our, our role to show them that things are going to take time to, uh, to, yeah, to, to, uh, to be in, in place. And then even if we feel, okay, now I'm, I'm feeling yeah. better with this only, oh, we, life, uh, it's unbalanced again, and we need to find balance again. And this takes time, uh, patience, vision. So this is uh, something uh, we work for the future, we work for tomorrow. We don't work for, for today, for right now. I think it's something really that we keep in our mind all the time with, uh, with our kids. Uh, when I was young, uh, young, very young girl and I was pretty shy. But when people were asking me, not so many were doing that, but when they were asking me, what do you want to do later? Right. I was pretty shy, but I was saying, I want to become a champion in tennis. And they were looking at me like, oh. Justine eh ben on arrive Hénin. pile au bon moment. Justine Hénin, vainqueur pour la quatrième fois, la troisième fois d'affilée de ce Roland Garros. We are here at the higher VIP lounge yes. of the Ferry Master. Are you happy to be here? I think we are all happy to be here, no, together. <laughs> and it's a cozy, welcoming uh, space. Uh, so we, we see great tennis. We have friends that uh, come to visit the the space also having uh, good food, good drinks and enjoy our, our passion and, uh, and discussing like, uh, like we do. So uh, of course we are happy to be here. <laughs> and how do you evaluate the cooperation between the higher and the Paris Rolex Master? I think uh, cooperation is, is fantastic. It's, uh, it's uh, exceptional to see that kind of, uh, of partnership. Yeah. Uh, um, sport, tennis, especially, I'm not really objective. I'm talking about tennis because I love it so much, but but still, I think that globally, uh, it's really a platform that is uh, unique uh, to help people to engage in uh, in sport. And um, I think it's an opportunity for higher, but it's an opportunity for tennis also, because we need that kind of strong relationship uh, with the good values to uh, keep the sport, uh, to, to help the sport to keep growing and developing. And uh, we love tennis, so if this kind of partnership can help tennis in the future, and I'm sure it's going to be the case, we have to encourage uh, that kind of even more partnership like this in the, in the future. So, uh, Justin, I see that uh, you found uh, the Justin, Justin Henning Foundation. Uh, what is the goal of this foundation and uh, why it is important to you to, to help uh, uh, disease uh, people? Yeah, the foundation, I created the foundation a year and a half ago, even if I was really involved in two different kinds of projects for, for a long time with another association that was called Justine for Kids. And then we, we really thought, okay, for my foundation, sport needs to find a place. And uh, talking with the, uh, a lot of uh, people from the, the medical world and uh, asked them uh, what we could do together, we decided to create the foundation. And the goal is, the mission is to... Uh, to encourage, to, to help um, uh, kids that are sick in Belgium or with, uh, with a certain kind of handicap to uh, be able to have a physical uh, activity, yeah. especially in the hospital. So uh, we, there was a, a program that is called the Gym and Joy in the hospital in Belgium. And we, the foundation uh, came to give a support to structure the program, to develop the program, to help the hospital to get the infra infrastructure, to give the possibility to the kids to do sport, sport in a certain way, of course, not sport of high level, but physical adapted uh, activity uh, to their disease. Um, so we uh, have physical coaches that are coming to the hospital. We did build uh, a field, a sports field also at the, in that hospital in Liège uh, this year. Okay. And uh, we want to, um, to, to bring the project Jim and Joy in other hospitals 
to give the opportunity for these kids uh, that stay at the hospital or go home also, but they don't have the possibility or the, the energy or the confidence also to, um, to go into a club. Now we create activity that is really uh, made for them and that they can do it in an environment with the security of the, of the disease. So this is a project that we want to um, <laughs> develop, of course, in the, in the next few years. And why it is so important for you to do that? Ah, it's important in different way. Uh, I lost my mom when I was 12 years old. Okay. And um, yeah, it's been uh, when she got sick, all the family was, was sick. So I always uh, uh, was really sensitive to what kids parents, brother, sister, they can live into their, their life. And so I was really, yeah, I wanted, when I become the one, when I became the one, I said, I have to do something with that. And I, it's been a privilege in, in my life to be able to, to, to do what I did. And I wanted to give back. And with my experience of life, uh, I wanted uh, with my name, with uh, uh, the support I could get from companies, from donators, from a lot of things, uh, because we can see very generous people around us. We say we have to bring these people together and try with a lot of humility because it's only a small thing and so many people into the world do an amazing stuff. We try to do our our own way into this and, and uh, I'm sure it can make a little difference for, I hope, yeah, uh, as, m as many kids as possible. Congratulations. Thank you. Play with, with the, the number, number ones. ones.